In this lesson, I want to talk a little bit about what yarn is. So just to recap, if we've done any jhipster projects in the past using AngularJS 1.x, then we probably are used to using a combination of NPM, Bower, and Gulp. So Bower and Gulp are basically our package manager and our build system. Well, moving forward in the new Angular world, which is Angular 2 for any versions that come out after that, we're going to be use a co using a combination of Yarn and Webpack. So I just want to get you a little bit familiar with those in this section. We're not going to dive deeply into them. You can always go off on your own and, and read a little bit more. But I just want you to know what they are so you're not lost when we're talking about them. So we're going to start with Yarn here. Yarn is basically another package uh, dependency management system. And this is going to kind of replace NPM. And again, you can go out and read more on it. But really what it comes down to, Yarn was actually developed by Facebook. And it's just a faster solution to package dependency management than NPM. And you can go ahead and watch some tutorials on the web on side-by-sides of, of what it does and why it's so much faster. But that's really what it comes down to. It's secure and it's also reliable. So go ahead and go through their website, read it. If you come over to install Yarn, there's some different ways that you can install it. Although in the last video, we just installed Node, so we do have NPM. So if we wanted to, we could pop into a terminal here and go NPM install globally Yarn. So that way you would go ahead and have Yarn. So I have, in, I have uh, Yarn installed. So if we go Yarn, it'll actually give us the uh, install that we have. Right now we have v0.19.1. And that's really all you need to do. I mean, like I said, we can go into deeper of what Yarn does and how it actually builds dependencies, but we're not going to. I just wanted to get you a little bit familiar about what Yarn was, and I needed you to make sure that you do get it installed. Again, you can use uh, Node Package Manager or Homebrew or something like that to go ahead and get that installed. So with that, let's go ahead and move on.